If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. It's ten and a half now after the hour. Philip Morris, co-chairman of the South Tallahassee County Republican Party and executive with the state the Republican Party joins us this morning. Philip, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good to have you with us today. Big event coming up here in town before long. Talk about that this morning. Well, uh, September 26th, we've got Sheriff Joe Orpao coming in. To That's speak easier to for us. you to say than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's coming in September 26th at the Parks and Recs. It'd be a dinner. He's a well-known uh, guy, really, a na oh, yeah. a nationwide. Mm -hmm. It's called Patriot Dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll serve dinner. Uh, uh, tickets is $40 a person, um, uh, which had to be a week from this coming Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it's coming up. Ticket sales go off be this Thursday, right? 19th. 19th. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, just to let me give you a little bit of information about sure. it, the people that don't know about yeah. it, uh, he... Uh, Served in the, the Korean War as a veteran. He come out and went to the police academy and become a police officer. And he went to work in uh, D.C. Uh, left D.C. and went to work in Las Vegas. Uh, worked there until he got uh, uh, went to work for the DEA. And he served in Mexico. Uh, uh, he served in uh, Turkey. He ended up in Texas. And in 1992, he ran for sheriff of Maricopa County. Now that county is uh, it's a got, bit bigger than Tyler County. <laughs> it's got as many people as uh, Alabama. Yeah, four and a half million people. Wow, uh, covers about ninety three thousand square miles. Uh, Arizona is part of it's in you know it's in Arizona, but Phoenix covers mm -hmm. part of that county. So he was uh, he had a big county to be sheriff. Uh, he trained uh, uh, about one hundred fifty deputies with ICE. Was trained by ICE. Mm -hmm. Um, he was probably fighting illegal immigration back before the country even talked about it. Before we started hearing about it on, on yeah. national TV, yeah. uh, before the politicians started talking about immigration, he was dealing with the with the human trafficking, the drug problem, um, and all the other things that goes with it. Uh, disease, uh, you know, coming into the you know coming into the county. So, uh, well, that being said, he's he's a, he's a pretty Powerful guy in his own right. Uh, he, uh, I think he's affectionately called Sheriff Joe. Sheriff Joe. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people talk about, you know, he was the one, and I think we've we probably heard about it a lot in the national news. He, uh, he had the, uh, the tents that he yeah. had purchased, had yeah. the tent city. Yeah. He purchased those things from uh, uh, surplus from the Korean War, mm -hmm. and, and he'd done it on purpose because he served there. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 86 years old, by the way. But he he had purchased those things, and and uh, his theory was somebody asked him about it. He said, you know, he he set up a, a tent city prison out there about forty miles from the from the border there in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And uh, his theory was, he said, well, if they're good enough for us soldiers to live in, they're good enough for criminals to stay in, and they're tender in Arizona. And uh, and and a lot of those was illegal immigrants with with different things and. It wasn't just that. Yeah. But he's going to be but, here uh, later on this month at the J. Craig Smith Community Center. And uh, you can see some of the information right yeah. there on the 26th VIP reception at 530, dinner at 630. And the deadline for tickets now, you can get those tickets, by the way, at Silicaga Chamber of Commerce or on uh, Eventbrite. Uh, Eventbrite. And uh, uh, it's hosted by the uh, uh, South Holiday County Republican Party. Is, is that right? That's correct. And uh, when when we when we look at the South Tyler League County Republican Party, explain this party a little bit and what we're well, trying to accomplish here. Well, let me tell you. First of all, it's not the South. Yeah. It's the Tyler okay. County Republican okay. Party. All right. So they just entire they just, county. Okay. Entire county. Did it used to be South and North, or was it just in my imagination? <laughs> not not not. Not that I know okay, of, okay. but I'm not going to sit here and argue because I don't know. Hey, you know, I have made things up before. Hey, well, I have too. So, <laughs> but but yeah, it's 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 Tyler County. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and and you know what you want to do is promote the the party, uh, uh, promote what what the uh, promote what the party stands for, uh, and uh, uh, promote conservative values. Uh, Sheriff Joe is that type guy. Mm -hmm. He. Uh, he took up with uh, he uh, uh, right up just front. He was a Trump man, uh, and he uh, now is a Trump advisor on immigration, mm -hmm. illegal immigration. Mm -hmm. I must say, not immigration, illegal immigration. So he is uh, 
He's just he's just a good guy, and it's, I think it's going to be fun. He's also got a little bit of a, a little bit more. He's a little a little colorful, uh, so I don't think he'll be boring. I can tell you that. I think I think it'll be really interesting. Uh, the Patriot. We also have Patriot dinner, and getting back to the Republican Party, um, it's important uh, more now than ever that, like Sheriff Joe said, he said, you know, he said, I wish everywhere I went was like Alabama with moral values. Uh, and that's a compliment because our state does have a lot of moral values, and our, and our county does. Um, and I think that if we, uh, if if you look at it, uh, you know, 2020 is coming up, and we need to really pay attention to the candidates we got, and we need to to get a conservative Republican Party to to take over and, and, and get involved and do what do what they need to do, and and hold them accountable when they get there. Yeah, you know, that's the biggest thing mm -hmm. is. Philip Morris, who is the co-chair of the Talladega County Republican Party and uh, executive in the state uh, Republican Party as well. Uh, tickets available at the J. Craig Smith Community Center. They can get those today, right? They sure can. Uh, let's give away a couple. Why don't we do a, give away a pair? And uh, yeah. uh, you, uh, if you want to call us or, or uh, email us or text us, uh, you can do that. You can call us at 256-369-1688 or you can text message the show and Robert will get uh, that uh, name for us hopefully before the show goes off because we're, we're crushed for time this morning but tickets are available uh, at the J. Craig uh, at the uh, Silicaga Chamber of Commerce the event's going to be at the J. Craig Smith Community Center and and uh, Philip what what can people expect uh, from this event a good dinner okay and a lot of good a lot of good information a lot of good uh, motivational Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think you'll uh, hear a little bit of a little bit of all of it, um, and uh, you'll hear from a working man like me and you are. Um, he's running for sheriff again at eighty six. So, oh, wow, uh, he really is. Uh, of course, I, we're not campaigning for him well here in Alabama, but uh, I wish him the best. Uh, but, he, but he is. I'm sort of surprised. But uh, but you know, he said he got to go go ahead from his wife, so he was going to try to do it again. Yeah, so. that that kind of is an indicator of how important it is that we get involved in the process. Oh, no doubt. Um, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a conservative-minded person and uh, you're not at J. Craig, 26, listening to Joe, I hope you're listening to Donald Trump, President Trump somewhere, because mm -hmm. that's near mm -hmm. going to be about as good mm -hmm. other than listening to Donald Trump that night. So that's, and, uh, that's the place to be yeah, in Solacoga. Yeah. Now, prices 26. for tickets again? $40, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get your ticket. And, and you can, if you want to sit with some friends, you can purchase a table. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that price was 400 and I think we just reduced it. So you'd, okay. you'd want to check with the chamber, but I think we reduced yeah. it a little bit. Okay. So. And uh, you can be a part of that. And, and uh, you know, the presidential election is uh, a year away. It is. And uh, not just the presidential election, but uh, elections across the parties uh, with, with different positions. And no, yeah, county. Yeah. You know, we got county, we got state, we got, we got you know, the federal government, and then, of course, we got the president. Yeah. So, yeah, we got a, got a lot of things coming on in 2020. And it is a very important election. Yeah. Um, and that, that's, that's another reason we're doing this. We want to make people aware that that yeah. is coming up. And it's something we need to, you know, if you. If you uh, if you like being American and you like being free, you believe in the Constitution as it's written, you know, and if you believe in uh, the moral thing to do, then then it's 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 you need to look at who's running. You need to pay attention to that because it's important. You know? Yeah, and like me, you talked about twenty twenty is going to be really important. Sure. You know, and you got to know that candidate. You can't just go by uh, you uh, need to know a who name. Is. Yeah, you got to be you're at. You don't need a name. You need to know who he is. Find out all you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I know y'all do a good here, a good job here with, with putting those people out there, and there's other sources out there that you need to look at that. You're no stranger to the political arena either. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Is that all you're going to say? About that? <laughs> Uh, right, right now, I think that's me. I, I think okay. I'll just uh, uh, Philip Morris, our guest this morning. He's co-chair of the. Uh, Talented County Republican Party and a big event coming up with Sheriff Joe. That's going to be at the J. Craig Smith Community Center. And you see all the information right there. We've got a pair of tickets. Uh, if you want to contact us, we'll, we'll take that. Let's do the third one, uh, third caller at 256-369-1688. we got you a pair of tickets uh, to the event coming up September the 26th. The deadline for ticket sales is the 19th, which is just two days away, so they need to get moving on it. 19th, exactly. 
Oh, we've had a lot of people have asked us that uh, would there be any tickets at the door? Uh, because of the, the the dinner part of it, it being catered, you have to turn a number in. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if they will be, but you might want to check because we, we we might adjust that a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I know a lot of people, They you know how some of us are, we wait and see how our schedule looks at the last minute we want to go do something. We're last minute people, man. Yeah, and, and, and I, I'm just as guilty sometimes, but I, I hope we can probably adjust that some. So, so you know, if, if something happens, you know, but we'd love for you to go ahead and buy them and plan to be there, you know, so that's what we'd, we'd love for people to do. All right, get your tickets at the J. Craig Smith Community Center, <clears throat> excuse me, at the Chamber of Commerce, the event Chamber. at the J. Craig Smith Community Center, and uh, Eventbrite as well. Uh, yes, Are, are yes. you familiar with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk about that a little bit, how you go about doing that. Well, you would go online on event, Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can you can order them there and you use your credit card, debit yeah. card, or whatever. So, yeah. so it's very convenient. It, well, know? it is. It's convenient. You don't have to go run and find them somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of people like doing that. You know, you can just get on the phone, get on your you know your phone, order the credit card, and you know have the tickets. Yeah. So. Get your tickets today. You can them <coughs> at the Chamber of Commerce or from Eventbrite and. Uh, Philip Morris, our guest this morning. You see again the information on the screen. And I guess uh, one thing that Sheriff Joe is known for, and maybe uh, <laughs> he goes back. Now, you said he was 86 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes back a few years, and with that tent city, he had a particular color that kind of uh, uh, overtook anything else, and the color was pink. This guy is law enforcement to the core, and, and he cares about this country. He does. He's he's definitely a patriot. He's a a patriot, a good guy. <clears throat> um, the uh, you know he had he had a little bit of little bit of people that went crazy about the the tent city, but uh, uh, he got the message across. Uh, I think his logo was, "If you don't like my my tent city jails, and don't come back." Don't come back. <laughs> and I mean that's about as simple as you can yeah. get. You know, yeah. if you don't like something, don't go back. So what are you expecting from <clears throat> the? Uh, Talladega County Republican Party as we draw closer to a presidential election and other elections, even here in Talladega County, and I say even, it's very important for us to be involved in this. We talked about the process a little bit earlier, but be involved in your county. Be involved in that. Uh, you may not be running for anything or seeking political office, but certainly we've got children and grandchildren coming up, and we need to look at that. Well, you do. <clears throat> Forest Tally County Republican Party, <clears throat> anyone's welcome to re really be involved. The, the biggest thing is you can be involved by you can you can you can say, hey, I want to donate mm -hmm. and get the money out there where we can put the money back into the candidates. Yeah. Uh, that's running. That's good. Good conservative candidates mm -hmm. is running for positions in our county and statewide. You know, it it, it goes. And of course, me being a state state executive member. <clears throat> Same situation there, yeah. except on a larger scale. Um, <clears throat> of course, the state, you know, we're always getting ready for an election, you know. <laughs> of course, really, we are here. We're, we're Talladega County Republican Party, yeah. really, is always getting ready for election. Mm -hmm. you're, you're really not, not ever not getting ready for an election. Yeah, well, you, know? you got... Because uh, you thought you think is politics, mm -hmm. day in, day out. It's all you think about. Mm -hmm. that's, your, that's your top priority is politics, you know, and and uh, getting the messages out, the, the Republican Party, the conservative you know, conservative by the party. You know, he's getting the message out that we're, we're getting the message out for an event and, coming and, up uh, yeah. in the 26th. Before we go this morning, kind of capsule that and tell people what's going to be going on, how they can get tickets. Well, you can get tickets at J. Craig uh, or at Ventbrite. Uh, those tickets forty dollars a piece. Chamber uh, of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. You can get them. Uh, you can get a table. Um, if you'd like to sit with some, get some friends want to go with you, can do that. Set a table. Together, um, Sheriff Joe or Pio, they call him Sheriff Joe. Uh, he will be our guest speaker. There will be a dinner um, and a uh, little, little, little bit of uh, live music prior uh, after dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he'll probably speak about 40 to 50 minutes, and maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll uh, tell you about his uh, uh, endeavors and things that he's done since uh, the Korean War up to currently. Uh, his work with President Trump as an advisor uh, on immigration, and uh, I think he's going to be—I uh, think it's going to be really good because he's—he's kind of colorful. So I think I think it won't be just a 
I don't think there'll be a dull moment or a bored <laughs> moment watching Sheriff Show. I can tell you that. Well, I'm right. looking forward to it. I think it's going to be probably one of the funner events that we've had in some time. Yeah. Uh, and, and I guess in his own right, he'd be a celebrity, but I don't think he views himself that way. Uh, and he sure don't act like it by talking to him on the phone and, and by email. Uh, he's a, a simple man. 86 years old, he's he's too late in life to be concerned about some of those things that you just talked about, for sure. Oh, yeah. But he loves this country uh, as a part of the Republican Party. And, uh, and he's a good family man, too. Yeah, that's, that's great. Philip Morris, uh, co-chair of the Talladega County Republican Party and executive of the state Republican Party, our guest this morning. Uh, we're giving away a couple of uh, tickets, and I think we've all probably already got a winner on that, but uh, we'll pass that along, and uh, uh, you can pick those tickets up here at the studio, and Philip's going to get those by here to us uh, in this morning. So we appreciate it. Look forward to the 26th, too. Always a pleasure having you on with us. Been a while. Well, Gina's prettier than you are, but she was, I guess, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I guess she probably is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we couldn't get her up this early. <laughs> probably what it is. <laughs> Philip, thanks so much, my friend. I thank you. All right, we got more daybreak in just a minute.